Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another evening drive video for you. So this, by the time you guys get this, it'll be morning time. So yeah, just cause I'm out driving. Then I had a thought. I had a thought, yeah, 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 I like thoughts, thoughts are good. Anyways, hello, how y'all doing? So, here's my thing, like a lot of people in the past have asked me, hey, Boomy, why did you get into podcasting and all that content creation crap? Well, I'll tell you, dude, I am a lover, lover of history, but I'm also a lover, a lover, a lover of old time radio. I love it. Man, I grew up with Bob Hope when he was like in his 90s, and I remember when Bob Hope died, and I was a, oh man, I was a big fan of him and his comedy. And so, uh, I've always appreciated like Jack Benny, the George Burns and Allen show, uh, you know, just the Bob Hope show, just all these classic old time, uh, the shadow knows, this old time radio, uh, is just stuff has always amazed me, I've always loved it, I've always been intrigued by it, just because I believe radio is a better medium even though here I'm doing YouTube, right? But radio to me is a better medium than anything else, like, you know, with like music and other things like that, because when you put it through your ear holes, your imagination takes place. So, you know, if like back in the 30s and 40s, you know, that's, they didn't, you know, you know they were just starting to get television in there in the late 40s. But radio was still king in the 20s, 30s, 40s. And so, you know, when they had these dramas on, like, you know, The Shadow Knows and and all these other type of um, radio shows for which my brain forgets, like the Jack Benny Hour, uh, the Bob Hope uh, show, especially with the USO shows that he did, people had to use their imaginations when it came to how what people look like, when it came to, you know, characters in a story. And that's why I love radio, because it, it allows us, it almost forces us to use our imagination. We live in a time and age where imagination is crap. You know, people, like kids' imaginations is like, I'm going to watch YouTube all day. Yeah, I'm going to watch TV. Outside hurts me because it hurts with stuff. Man, when I was a kid, your ass was outside. Yeah, we had TV, but there was nothing on. We only had like three or four channels. And you had to, and if you wanted to have fun, you went outside with your friends or you went outside by yourself. That's it. And if the only one, and the only time you got to watch cartoons was on a Saturday morning. And then when they were done, because they stopped in the afternoon, you went, you got your ass outside again. You got on a bike, you went and you, you, you did bike things. You know, with stuff and the sun shone upon you. And yes, you fell down and you hurt your knee, but you got your ass right back up. Kids are too damn soft these days. But anyways, that's a whole different topic for another day. I'm an old man. Get off my lawn. But yeah, old time radio. I love it, man. It just that imagination. Like, I love the witticism of Jack Benny and, and of Bob Hope and George Burns. Like, these guys, they, they knew how to deliver a punchline. They knew how to tell a joke. And yet their lot and their jokes were extremely dirty and they were they had but they told it in such a clever way that you sometimes it took you a moment to think and then like oh that's what he said okay you know a lot of those jokes today would be considered corny and like oh that's a dad joke yeah but yes times were a little simpler back then that is but at the same time were they really or they really, I think people had much more of an imagination. I mean, look at War of the Worlds by Wells. I mean, by Orson Wells. He, you know, <laughs> it was a radio drama, and everyone freaked out. Everyone literally thought the world was coming to an end and that we were being invaded by aliens. The power of suggestion, the power of radio, the power of one's imagination when something is so sounds so real crazy crap tends to happen i mean one i mean i'm sure i could dovetail that into a lot of the crap that's going on nowadays right but 
I mean, I guess you could easily do that with, you know, like everyone's believing this, believing that, blah, 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 because they're being told through their imaginations going this way or that way, but they're not being formed correctly, right? Their minds aren't formed the right way, so because they're, I'm going to do what everyone else tells me to do. Yay, group think. Yeah, stop. But that's, um, oh, where am I going with that? But I would suggest, my friends, if you really want to, you know, get your hands and minds and ears on some good good radio some good shows check out jack benny check out oh what's that oh, i called something in me like check out bob hope check out george burns they're not politically correct neither am i and i don't give a crap about the pc culture so but people had fun back then everyone made fun of everyone equally and it was funny as hell everyone back then was willing and able without a fork up their butt which by the way probably doesn't feel good at all uh, to just laugh at each other it's like the dean martin roast everyone laughed at each other sammy davis jr you know would make a wise crack about dean martin or whomever was on stage dean would make a wise crack about sammy davis jr everyone laughed everyone went home friends so i think that old timey radio if you listen to it listen to it with an open mind which is sad to say these days that you have to listen to the old school stuff with an open mind. Go like, oh, they didn't, they were so offensive. Stop. Listen with an open mind. Let your imagination take flight. I think the old school, you know, we stand on the shoulders of giants. The old school artists, the old school um, radio guys, you know, they have something to teach us today in 2018. And that was 70 or 80 years ago. So that is my suggestion. It's time to open up our minds a little bit. Listen to the old school. Listen to the golden age of radio of Hollywood back in the 30s and 40s. And just enjoy what? Enjoy a good joke. That's my thing. So that's why I love radio. That's why I love podcasting. I love putting a microphone in front of my face and just having fun. Because that's just, you know, those are my uh, radio heroes. Those guys right there. I love them. That's where, you know... It's like, oh, okay, you can do slapstick. I, I like that. That's where a lot of it comes from, my friend. So anyways, put your comments in the comment section below. Do you think, Boomy, you're a tote self beach man? Or you're like, man, Boomy, I never thought about that. You're, I think you're right. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Even if you disagree and you're like, man, that's the most offensive crap I've heard in my life. Leave a comment. Don't care. We'll have a conversation about it. Nah, you, you have your right to your opinion. Party on. I'll defend it. Just as I had the right to mine. Burp, 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 burp. So anyways, my friends, make sure you hit that like button if you like what you see here. And also, if you really like what you see here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'd love for you to become part of the family here over at Booming Nation where we talk about gaming and just all sorts of sundry things. And whatever the heck comes into my brain. It's a weird place to be. Anyways, my friends, we'll see you later. Have a good one. Be safe. Be careful. Good day. Burp, 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 burp.